Utilities are facing unprecedented challenges. New government regulations and smart grid technologies means utilities need to modernize their power grids and transform their communications networks with packet technology like IP MPLS. At the same time, legacy applications like teleprotection continue to play a critical role in protecting the grids, but the TDM networks on which they rely are being phased out. There's a pressing need to migrate teleprotection traffic onto the IP MPLS network. But when even the smallest interruption of teleprotection can cause damage to the grids and outages for millions of customers, power utilities need to do so without compromising safety and reliability. Nokia provides advanced solutions to help them do just that. Bridging the gap between new IP MPLS networks and legacy teleprotection systems and meeting all three network QoS parameters, delay, jitter, and even delay symmetry. With good network design and optimal TDM pseudo-wire configuration and QoS settings, IP MPLS can meet the delay requirements constantly. And with the use of playout buffer, the impact of jitter can be mitigated completely. What's more challenging is attaining delay symmetry, which is particularly required by line or current differential protection. Differential protection requires that the end-to-end -end delay for the go and the return paths are the same to prevent false trips by the relays. IP MPLS can easily ensure the two paths take the same route. What is not always known is that jitter can also incur delay asymmetry. In a perfect world, the data packets received in the playout buffer on both sides are processed and transmitted with equal wait time. If jitter occurs early on in the pseudo-wire startup phase, it will incur a permanent delay asymmetry and cause false trip by differential relays. To tackle this challenge, Nokia invented Asymmetrical Delay Control, or ADC, a smart QoS mechanism. ADC neutralizes the negative impact of jitter during the startup stage to restore delay symmetry. Another paramount concern is security. Encryption is critical in safeguarding the integrity of teleprotection communications. Today's encryption solutions are designed to protect IP traffic flows. Advanced technologies like Nokia's Network Group Encryption, or NGE, can safeguard both IP and TDM applications such as teleprotection. Both ADC effectiveness and the negligible delay impact of NGE have been independently verified by the Institute for Energy and Environment Research Group at the University of Strathclyde in the UK. Nokia has pioneered groundbreaking technologies to reliably and securely transition teleprotection over IP MPLS, offering safe and compliant utility networks to embrace greener solutions. <laughs>